What's going on? Good morning. I'm kayaking. It is a gorgeous morning. I got up at four this morning, loaded the kayak up, and drove out here to Brady's Lake. The sun has just come up. Just, just, just came up. It's barely peeking through the trees behind me. It is chilly. It's probably around 50 degrees. There's one car in the lot. And it doesn't look like they have a boat. They might be out here. There's some trails around here. They might be out here hiking. I got my coffee. And this is my view. That is all right. Oh, there's something swimming right in front of me. What is that? Is that a beaver? What is that right there? Let's see if we can get that on the camera. Yeah, I think it's a beaver. This beaver is right behind me. And just as I, before I hit record, you can see the splash mark there. He just slapped his tail. I don't know where he went. I think he's somewhere.
That sun is up now. Doesn't take long. Look at this. Beautiful morning. Beautiful out here today. So I left the beaver alone. I got him slapping his tail. That's cool. It's good to see that like 30 seconds into putting a boat in the water. Like I said, I'm out here at Brady's Lake. This is like 226 acres, something like that. It's a pretty big lake. It goes way back. I'm going to paddle back a little bit. Go see how far back I can get. I was just watching that beaver. I heard one car pulling. It's like they're putting a boat in the water. I can't see through the fog <laughs> over there or the mist to see them uh, putting in, but I expect there to be more boats. Uh, I won't be doing any fishing, just paddling, enjoying, watching all the different birds. There's a chance of seeing ospreys, bald eagles, and golden eagles out here. I've seen golden eagles out here twice. Which is pretty, they're big, big birds. So I'll keep an eye out for those. Um, if you're curious and you haven't watched uh, any of my kayaking videos before, because it's been a while since I've really kayaked a lot. Um, I think in the past two years, I've only gotten out four times. And before that, four kayaking trips would be a week. <laughs> so. I slowed down the kayaking a lot in the past two years. And uh, for no other reason than when 2020 hit, there was a lot more people out doing stuff. And the lakes were just packed around here. Just people everywhere. And I like getting out when it's early like this and having you know the water to myself or with just a couple other boats. And uh, I figured I'd go disappear in the woods and uh, let the people who are new to kayak and have the waters and enjoy them a little bit. And, but now I'm itching to get back on the water. Um, the boat I'm using, this kayak, is a Current Designs Kestrel 120R. I've had a few people ask about it. Uh, it's 12 feet long. It's a rotomold plastic. And it's kind of a cross between a recreational kayak and a... Um, I guess like a sport kayak. It's it's fairly fast. It's pretty stable. It's got decent roll to it. Like I can I can actually turn this and, and roll, but it's got a big cockpit like a like a recreational ki uh, kayak. So I love this boat. I've had this for six years now. I think I think it's in 2015. So seven years, six or seven years. I've had it for a while, and. uh I love it. It's a great boat. It's tough. It's fast. It's relatively light. It's got room for me to use it for kayak camping when I can find places to do that. The seat is pretty comfortable. It's uh, like semi-cushioned, I guess. It's like a hard plastic seat, but it's got some cushion in it. If you're in it for four or five hours, it gets a little rough, but just get out and walk around. Usually pretty fine. Um, I, since I haven't been in the boat for a while, I'm wearing the vest as like back support just because it takes a little bit for my back to get used to sitting with that low back on the seat so <sighs> I don't care I'm out kayaking all right I'm going to start paddling that way up that side of the lake let's go see what we can find I still got a little coffee left try not to spill it it's hard I don't have a cup holder in this thing
right at the Osprey platform and I didn't see anything in there. And I was just taking a shot with the, the GoPro and it was sitting on a rock. As I turned around to come get it, oh, I'll put my glasses back up. Right there in a the tree. Right there. I know this is shot with the phone, so it's a little green. There's the osprey. Doesn't seem at all bother that I'm here. And I'm not super close to them, but usually they start to squawk. So it must be okay with me being here. No, it's not going to come through on the camera, but right in front of me, flying away, is a huge eagle. I couldn't see, I didn't see its head, so I don't know what kind of eagle it is, but it's heading back to that eagle tree. Oh, no, that's gearing off to the right. I don't know, that's a big bird. Maybe it'll circle back this way. He's right in these trees in front of me.
a couple of deer up here on the side. That tall pine up in front of me is the tree that's got the eagle nest in. And I've seen bald eagles up there in the nest, but in that tree I've also seen golden eagles just hanging out in it. And it's been a few years since I've seen a golden eagle in there. But I think they, I know they migrate through here. So it may have just been luck to catch them, but they're big, big birds. Don't see any eagles up there right now. So I'll keep paddling when I come back. I'll see if I can spot any. It is gorgeous out still. It's getting a little hazy. They're calling for rain this weekend and really, really high temperatures. So um, the haze, these clouds are starting to blow. Don't really surprise me. But that's okay. Weather's okay. Feels like it's still probably in the 50s. I have not checked the weather, see what it says the temperature is. And I did not bring my thermo drop with me. I probably should have. Um, but I'm heading into what's called, it's called Rausch, Rauscher's Run, Rauscher's Run, something like that, that feeds the lake. Sometimes I can get back here pretty far. Sometimes I can't, depending on beaver activity. And there's been, obviously you saw the beaver when we first got here. And there's quite a few beaver dens. Oh, there's a bald eagle right there. So the GoPro won't pick him up. I'll try to get the phone camera on right right out in here there's an eagle just chilling out in the tree and that's definitely definitely a bald eagle no mistake in that so you kind of see there is where the eagle's sitting. Yeah, right there. I'm gonna try to paddle by quietly without disturbing the eagle. That's pretty cool. I love seeing eagles. by one of the many beaver lodges 
in Brady's Lake. Which makes me think this will be dammed up once I get to the other side here. Eagle did not seem concerned. Still just chilling out in the tree. So this end of the lake, as you get into the, the creek that feeds it, as you can tell, what I just went through, this starts to get overgrown. And uh, there's like a just a channel that comes through. So as long as I stay in that channel, I'm pretty good. But get off on the side and there's old tree stumps and rocks and stuff like that you gotta watch out for. And the sun's at a weird angle so even with the sunglasses on I'm having a hard time seeing through the water until I'm right up on top of these rocks. Alright so about 15 feet behind me. Oh duck. Um was the first dam, but it's completely submerged. I went right over it, cleared it by a good couple inches. So, let's see. I might be able to get back further than I thought. Oh, another duck. It's not. Oh, this is further back than I think I've ever gotten. Get rid of this. All right. This is the furthest back I've ever gone. Usually those dams are completely blocking this. See what we got. Can't get through there. Kayaking through spider webs. That was a beaver. Oh yeah, he's right around me. He was not expecting to see me. <laughs> hmm. 
Oh, it looks like this is frozen gold. Here's the next beer, but damn, I'm not getting over that. That's a leaky beaver dam. So that was pretty cool. I love being able to get further up these creeks whenever possible. If I really wanted to, I could carry over that. I'd get over that. But I don't know what's back there. It could just be another beaver dam 50 feet away. That's usually the way it works. They just step those dams up until they get enough water. I'm going to head back out to the lake and uh, see if there's any more eagles out there. So I remember the last time I was out here, I was here with Rocco, and he got some really cool photos of an osprey catching a, a big fish. And uh, it, it was hard to get the scale of that because the, one of those ospreys just flew over my head and its wingspan has got to be five feet. It's a big osprey. They're huge here. The eagles are big here too. There's a lot of good fishing. That's why they like it here. That's why I like it here, because there's just big birds. Alright, let's see how long the battery lasts on this. I forgot to charge it last night. Um, so I pulled up here. I, I, you can't camp in here, unfortunately. This is a fishing game land. Fishing boat lands. Fishing, fish commission. Fishing boat commission? Fishing boat commission land. That's what this is. Um, and they do not allow camping in here. But what a great spot if you're fishing. You could do a catch and cook here. Like I'm, That's not really my thing, but what a great spot this would be. Catch a couple of fish, come up here, have yourself a fire, cook it up. This is beautiful. I, next time I'm out here, I might just bring a hammock. Come out, set up the hammock. Paddle out here. Just relax a little bit. Really nice spot. It's warmed up quite nicely. The sun's popped back out. And... Um, Not far from up in there. Up there is the boat launch. Looks further on the GoPro than it really is. Well, I'm gonna head back up. I got hammocks to make. It's only about nine o'clock. I've been out here since uh, let's see, sunrise is at five forty. I got here right at sunrise. Been a good day. Been a fun morning. So I'm gonna get the kayak back in the water. Paddle back to the launch. Maybe I'll get myself something to eat real quick. Then back to work. So I'm just getting back to the launch right now. Um, the weather is changing. It wasn't supposed to rain today at all, initially. Now they're calling for some storms moving in. So this cloud's moved in pretty quick. So the wind picked up, got real windy coming in. But I am back to the launch. You can see the Jeep. 
much needed day, well, day, morning on the water with the kayak, listening to the birds and seeing eagles and ospreys. It was awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna go home, get to work and make some hammocks. See how the weather is this weekend. Maybe we'll get out and do something. I'll try. See you in the next.